So you're looking to up your microphone game with an XLR microphone. However, the convenience of USB microphones have made people a little confused at how you actually use an XLR microphone. This video is all about the advantages that XLR mics give over USB mics and how to easily set them up. More on that after the intro. If you've ever seen one of these strange three-pronged connectors before, that's an XLR connector. XLR is an acronym for external line return, and while that may sound confusing, the advantages are quite straightforward. There's a reason why XLR is the industry standard on pro audio equipment all over the world. The hallmark feature of XLR is the ability to carry a balanced signal over a cable without a lot of noise, so the signal is very clean. XLR can achieve this by carrying two copies of the audio with reverse polarity and then cleaning up any interference in post-processing. Not to mention, the signal does not degrade over long cable lengths, which is useful in environments like concerts. Although the technology behind XLR is very robust, the actual internal of a cable is quite simple. There's a pin for ground, positive, and negative electronic signals. Another neat feature of XLR is you can change them together in ways that are otherwise more difficult with USB. As we mentioned before, XLR cables allow for a much more clean, high quality audio signal to be transferred over long distances. And since the internals of an XLR cable are so straightforward, you can't directly connect it to your computer like you could with a USB microphone. You need a device to interpret the analog signal coming out of your microphone to a digital signal that your computer can understand. This device will also provide phantom power to your microphone if it doesn't already get external power somehow. Such devices are called audio interfaces and you can get one for as low as 50 bucks. Of course you get what you pay for, so I think the Focusrite Scarlett Solo is a good mixture between affordability and quality. Also, since I was just talking about it, phantom power is not a feature on all audio interfaces, so make sure you look up A, if your microphone even needs phantom power to work, and B, that your audio interface actually has the feature. You may have heard of a DAC before, which stands for digital to analog converter. What we need is the opposite of that, an analog to digital converter. While the entry level Focusrite Scarlett offerings may not have the best quality ADC and preamps, it's a more solid investment over cheaper audio interfaces which have to sacrifice more on the quality of their components to reach a lower price point. The advantage to an XLR microphone and interface is you get much more customizability that you could not get on a USB microphone. You can change out the type of microphone, extend or shorten the cabling as needed, and you have much more finer control over the audio. Of course, an XLR interface would be of no use without XLR equipment, and the microphone you see here was sent to us by Stellar, and it is the Stellar X2 microphone. Now, I want to say that this video is not a review, and Stellar actually reached out to us and gave us this microphone just to show how to set it up with your computer. But still, all opinions are 100% my own, and they are seeing this video right along with you guys. I'm going to do a quick unboxing as well as a little tour around the microphone to show you guys what you can expect from professional grade audio equipment. The the unboxing starts with a simple white box on the outside showing an outline of the X2 as well as some simple branding on the sides. Opening up the box, I was really surprised that the microphone came with a hard shell briefcase type thing so I'm pretty sure that there's no way this microphone can get damaged in shipping. Upon opening the box, this particular microphone comes with a short description describing some technical specifications as well as a quality control checklist. I was really pleased to see this microphone includes a pop filter as well as a shock mount which can help alleviate some vibrations that can get to the microphone by hitting the table, for example. On the bottom of the microphone is where we can see the male XLR connector that our XLR cable will plug into. And if you're buying this microphone or a similar microphone like an AT2020, please keep in mind that it doesn't come with a stand like you're seeing here, so you'd have to go get one from a third party. I'll put a link down in the description to the stand that I bought, which I've been liking so far. Once you have your XLR interface and microphone, the setup is very easy, although you need one more piece of equipment before you get started. Usually XLR cables are not shipped with audio interfaces and microphones, so you'll have to pick up one of those yourselves. I got this Amazon Basics male to female XLR cable and it has worked flawlessly for me so far. 
Now that you have all your equipment ready, the setup is very intuitive. Plug in the female end of the XLR cable into your XLR microphone. Sometimes you'll hear a click as the locking mechanism built into the XLR cable ensures the cable won't get ripped out of your microphone. Then the male end of the cable goes into your audio interface. It's easy enough on the Scarlett Solo because as the name implies, there is only one XLR input. Once you plug your interface into your computer, if your microphone requires phantom power, make sure to enable that so your microphone can work properly. On the Scarlett Solo, it's as easy as hitting the 48 volt button right by the XLR input. Turning on any additional filters like the air button is up to you if you think it makes your audio sound better. More specifically to the Focusrite series of devices, you'll have to wait for the driver to be installed automatically, but after that, you're good to go. Brew up Audacity or Adobe Audition and see what your brand new microphone sounds like. All right, so that's it for this video. Hopefully it helped you guys set up your XLR microphone or as well as any other XLR pieces of equipment. Links to everything we talked about will be down below, and I do want to thank Stellar for sending us out this microphone. This whole video was shot using the Stellar X2 as the main microphone, so if you guys are interested in a review, make sure to leave a comment down below. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you guys next week.